Hello everyone, welcome to the latest episode and this time I'm really excited about the new block tech because even for a block tech this tech can be really competitive and also challenging for opponents in diamond rank for example. It feels really strong and always shows you many ways to distract the opponent. So I'm speaking about the Izzet block tech from the set Innistrad Midnight Hound. This tech is a classic Izzet build heavily centered around casting instant and sorcery spells we have a lot of creatures that benefit from those type of cards and the coolest thing about this is we have so many cards with flashback so we can even cast it one more time. The primary objective here isn't the speed, rather it's about control and attack the opponent from many sides. And we have also control about what we want to draw with cards such as Arcane Infusion, Consider, also Play with Fire and Memory Deluge. Let's go over to the creatures. We have four different creatures in the stack. The most important is, and this is also one of my favorite, is the Smoldering Egg. When we cast an instant or sorcery spell we put an ember counter on the egg each ember counter equals the mana we have spent for the instant or sorcery spell when it has seven it transforms into the mighty dragon and whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spells it deals two damage to any target a great card i love to play with it because you can deal so much damage and uh, we have also so many cheap spells so we can also target for example the opponent and yeah uh, also, it's not that difficult to cast it. We have cards such as uh, Memory Deluge, Burn Down the House, for example, that add a bunch of, of those Ember counters. Thermal Alchemist can also deal a lot of damage. We can tap it and deals 1 damage to the opponent. Whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, we can also untap it. Then we have Delvor of Secrets. Can be very useful since uh, transformed, it's a free 2 flying creature, adding versatility to our creature lineup. The other amazing creature is Lear Disciple of the Drowned, a game changer granting all cards in our graveyard flashback at their actual mana cost, uh, making the cards with flashback even cheaper when we want to cast it from the graveyard. Let's go over to the instant and sorcery spells. Our deck features a variety of burn spells such as Play with Fire, Cathartic, Pyre and Burn Down the House. Some of these spells offer additional utility, for example Cathartic Pyre. We can also discard cards and draw cards when we have for example too many uh, lands. Also play with fire, we can scry for one. Uh, my favorite card here is definitely Memory Deluge. Because uh, we can scry X and draw two cards and also Arcane Infusion. Um, providing us so much flexibility. Fading Hope allows us to return creatures to their owner's hands. Sometimes we can bring huge creatures back to their opponent's hand, but we can also say, for example, um, our greatest card, Leer, uh, Leer the Disciple, uh, for example, we have also Consider, uh, is also useful since we can put the card into the graveyard that we don't need, and we can also draw a card. Seize the, um, seize the Storm makes an elemental creature, and its power is equal to the instant and sorcery spells in our graveyard. Last but not least, we have also one artifact, it's Geist Flame Reservoir, can be in my opinion also game changer, it gets a charge counter whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell, and we can also tap it, pay 2 mana and we can deal damage by minus the charge counters. I really like also the second ability because for the same mana we can also Excel the top card of our deck and we can also cast it this turn. Lands, we in total we have 23 lands, we have 11 islands and 12 mountains. So let's play some games. So here we go and oh, only one land so we have to do mulligan. This looks more promising, we have two islands, two mountains. So I would say we will put down one mountain under our library because we have also electric revelation that we can use then and in case we have more lands we can just discard one of these and we will also draw two cards yeah that's a very good hand right now we have also considered turn one so we can also use surveil one draw a card turn to the alchemist yeah our opponent also uh, play the mountain cathartic pyre yeah we'll just take it so we can also maybe get rid of some annoying creatures <clears throat> so now we will cast the alchemist and yeah also we have two islands i think we can get rid of one of these yeah so we are playing obviously against the dinosaur deck 
Let's see if it's also a free color deck. Maybe they have also uh, planes there. So yeah, end turn. I just realized maybe the weakness of this deck is maybe seize the storm that we can also, um, yeah, put maybe in the side deck uh, because we don't have that uh, that much advantage from this card. We're just receiving a big creature, but that's all that we get. Um, the only positive thing about this is it costs 5 mana. So for example we have our amazing dragon on the battlefield, first um, yeah, the smoldering egg. So then we will just also uh, receive 5 of these counters. So actually that's the advantage and the reason I put also into, into the stack. So now we can use electric revelation, discard the island. It's great, so we have another mountain. And then we can also use Smoldering Egg. Yeah, in this case we will cast this uh, creature. And then also we are not going to cast Delver of Secrets now. We will just keep Cathartic Pyre in case, yeah. When this creature enters the battlefield it explores. And it has Toughness 3. Uh, so great, we can also use the Pyre. Oh no, I it received a counter, so hmm. now we are not able to kill it. But we can block, they don't have any mana left. So we can also block with the egg. We will deal additional damage. Great, another smoldering egg. And then... Yeah, we just have to wait for the opportunity, so we can also cast Cartatic Pyre at the right moment. But, yeah, we see our opponent has some mighty dragon, um, not dragons, but dinosaurs. Oh, with haste and trample, wow. 4-4. Four, four. Yeah, wow, a tribal dinosaur deck. So, then we will just maybe... We can also discard up to two cards, but I think we will just get rid of the... Or... Do we need to seize the storm, actually? Yeah, I think let's discard maybe the cards. Because also the next turn we can use um, Electric Revelation and we can also discard the land. So let's do that, and also we will just transform all the dragons then, all the eggs actually. Great, more lands, so let's... Mm, let's do the first damage, then electric revelation, discard the island. Oh yeah, we just need one more, oh no, oh no, 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 we just discarded the island! Instead of the island, we have the additional mountain here on the hand, so that was really bad. I I should have kept the island instead of the mountain. So then we could at least use either Consider or Fading Hope. But nonetheless, it's very close, we have only two life points and uh, another mountain. So, hmm, that's very tricky right now. We can tr we can transform one of uh, both eggs. Memory deluge. Mm, it's very expensive, but yeah, we just uh, we can cast it also from the graveyard. Then let's cast also Geist Flame Reservoir. And then I think we can also cast Fading Hope. And the dragons also deal 2 damage whenever we cast an instant or sorcery spell. So let's do this first. We will send. Um, we'll deal damage with the Alchemist. And one of those big, mighty dinosaurs will we'll send to our opponent's hand. Uh, we have to pick one of these that, uh, that, that, that uh, they don't trigger when they are entering the battlefield. So maybe we can also do deal direct in damage. S down to 7. 
So yeah, actually that's it. So we have dealt uh, so much damage to our opponent. Yeah. Minus two. Wow. So GG. That was really unexpected, to be honest. Do we have to do any changes here? Maybe Geistland Reservoir and we'll just put one of those um, burn down the house copies into the this deck. So opponent goes first. That looks also very good. We have some cards that we can also cast turn one. Maybe we should start with Delver of Secrets and yeah, hopefully it will be transformed next turn. So we can also deal damage with a flying creature. Glimpse the core, search your library for a basic forest card. Put this card on the battlefield, tap to then shuffle. So yeah, reveal, we will transform it. So yeah, I mean turn 2, dealing two, uh, 3 damage is also very good. And then we have also just, yeah, 2 cards that we can use, either Fading Hope or Consider. And then play with Fire. Trample Haste whenever you attack target. Oh, okay. Gets plus 1, plus 1, so we can also use Fading Hope. They're putting one counter on their creature. Let's send them back. And we'll deal also two damage to the opponent, so we can also scry one. Great burn down the house. I just also realized that actually, instead of um, picking the first ability of burn down the house, which deals uh, five damage to the, all the creatures, I rather pick the second ability, which is more useful for us. So we will create three devils and whenever a devil dies, you can also deal one damage to any target. So it can also deal a lot of damage. Also when we cast it, uh, all the devils receive haste at the beginning. So yeah, it's very useful. And I rather, uh, to be honest, I rather um, pick the second ability also. So, yeah, Smoldering, also a fantastic card. It's always a pleasure to have this card on the battlefield. At first, no one expects uh, expect these cards to be powerful, because it's a defender, it has zero power, toughness four. But, especially when you're playing an Izzet deck, you have so many sorcery instant spells, and it can, yeah, quickly escalate. So, let's create three devils. And burn down the house is also suit smoldering eggs so well with the mana cost of five. So we are also receiving five counters at once. So yeah, we will just deal directly damage to the opponent. And then also we have yeah, seize the storm that we can um, cast for five mana. So next turn also we can attack with the, our dragon. Yeah, we can see some really cool dragons from the newest set, Ixalan. Also a dragon with Ward 2 at the beginning. You can also... Yeah, you will receive 2 mana. So, yeah, GG. So, now we have also Silver rank. I believe with this deck we can also reach Platin or, yeah, Diamond. It's really powerful for a block deck. And yeah, it has the perfect balance. We have so many yeah great instant sorcery spells with the combination of those really um, effective creatures such as Alchemist, also the Dragon, and also the Delver. So yeah, also yeah, the balance is perfect in the stack. So we can also use Geist Flame Reservoir. Yeah, we don't have uh, any creatures right now, but with Geist Film Reservoir we can also exile the top of our card for 2 mana. So I think we will just do that. So here we can tap the both mountains. Hmm. So yeah, we still have to wait for the, for the lands. 
But as you can see, we have always so many possibilities. Um, either it's the um, sorcery or instant spells or the creatures. And then we have even an art, very uh, powerful artifact, Geist Flame Reservoir. Yeah, so I can also recommend this card if you are going to play maybe a artifact stack. Also, it can be very useful in any burn deck. So any every time, because burn decks they usually they have so many instant and yeah, especially instant spells that deals uh, that deal damage. So for each of these, um, it's getting also a counter, and then you can also just uh, minus those counters and deal damage to any creature. Also, the best thing about this, you can deal damage to any target. We'll just put the creature back to our opponent's hand. Yeah, Alchemist, we still need more lands. So here we go, we have the third island. We can also cast Delver Secrets. Then we have two options, either we will play Near Disciple of the Drowned or Memory Deluge. Yeah, it's better to use it on the Delver of Secrets rather than on the uh, Lear. So, Lear. I think, yeah, we can just cast um, Lear. But first we'll just play the land. So we can also use Fading Hope. From the Graveyard. And yeah, do we need more? Actually, maybe one more mountain would be also good for us. Elish Norn, wow. Yeah, they are playing kind of um, a Phyrexian deck. Also, they are creating um, tokens with the enchantment. We have to be careful, Crawling Chorus also creates tokens and yeah, when they have so many tokens they can just attack with their, um, yeah, with all the creatures and each of these attacking creatures will also create an additional token thanks to the enchantment. So Smoldering Egg, yeah, maybe, yeah, we'll keep that because once it's transformed we can also kill all of these tokens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Geist Flame Reservoir, amazing. So we could just deal three, uh, five damage to Elish Norn. Um, yeah, decline. So we can also cast Memory Deluge. Let's see, Arcane Infusion. So we can also, but we have to keep uh, the egg. Still, they will. I build all oh, wedding announcement. Great card. Yeah, I really hate to play against this card because it can have uh, it can have such a big impact. Either you will just create a bunch of tokens, or you can also draw cards, and both are very bad for us. So let's bring Crawling Chorus back. So this turn they will not create any tokens. Ah, okay, besides, yeah, wedding announcement, of course. But we can just slow down a little bit our opponent. We can also remove one of these um, counters, so we'll maybe kill... Yeah, we'll just kill the, the human. We can also use Arcane Infusion. Let's see what do we have here. Another memory deluge. Actually, we can also cast it from the graveyard then later. Bane of Blade Hold. Yeah, they really they really want to create more tokens. So 
so yeah i was also saying at the beginning that i believe that we can also uh reach diamond rank with a block deck and let's see maybe we can also reach the the yeah red red diamond rank so yeah they are making so many tokens in a short time so burn down the house will yeah also create uh, free devils for us so yeah we will just stay back i really want to avoid that our opponent will produce more of these tokens when they for example will attack all with all the creatures next turn oh and they have also shield red Mm, Shieldred is a very powerful card. Yeah, with Death Touch, also when whenever they draw a card, they will receive two life points. Whenever we draw a card, we will lose two life points. Um, yeah, we could. Yeah, we have only three counters. I think it's uh, not really efficient when we will get rid of one of these creatures. Mm, the most important thing right now is um, to get rid of, as soon as possible of shield red. So we have to avoid it. Yeah, whenever we draw a card, we will lose two life points. And oh, they also receive plus one plus zero. Hmm. Yeah. So I would say we will block with uh, Leer. Or maybe let's see battle cry at the beginning of combat on your turn the next time target creature would deal combat damage to one i think no let's not block this creature i think we'll just use the devils and we can also kill children then by activating the ability of geist flame reservoir because we have three counters on that artifact and we can also kill one of those tokens so also we'll just pay two mana and we'll remove three counters deal three damage to shield red so one problem less oh yeah it transformed the enchantment so all the creatures they have right now plus one plus one in this case burn down the house we can also pay the flashback coast But we will just attack first with the dragon. Actually, we have so many spells. We can also deal 2 damage to the opponent. Consider, yeah, it's a cheap spell. We'll just take that. We can also use it again. Mm. Or maybe we can kill the opponent right now let's see amazing we have the mountain what else can we do we have the burn the house we have another consider more to damage nine no island galvanic iteration so now let's use burn the house okay they don't want to see that gg do we have to do any changes here? Mm, let me see. Maybe we'll take one of uh, one more copy of Burn Down the House. And Thermo Alchemist will just put into the side deck. Okay. They don't want to play against us. Yeah. Anyway, GG. So yeah, let's move on to the next game. So we are coming closer to gold rank. Opponent starts. That's a very good hand. We have, um, yeah, actually all the cards that we need. We have enough lands, also arcane infusion. I really like the combo between arcane infusion and galvanic iteration. So we can also use that card twice and then we will just search for the instant and sorcery spells. Guys from Reservoir. Yeah, very underrated card. I'm just surprised that the cost for both abilities is the same. 
Um, either we want to um, deal damage, so we just have to pay 2 mana. Also, if we just want to exile the top of our card, we just have to pay 2. And yeah, if we don't have enough lands, it's the best solution actually. So, Virtue of Persistence, yeah, unfortunately, minus 3, minus 3. So, let's cast Geist from Re Reservoir. Also, yeah, Arcane Infusion. Yeah, we have also Play with Fire. Hopefully, they will cast a small creature, so we can also scry with Fading Hope. Okay, let's see what the opponent will do. Yeah, the Virtue of Persistence is actually a very good card. For 2 mana you can also deal minus 3, minus 3. And then also you have to pay 7 mana, which is very... Which is a lot. Um, so you can also bring one creature from um, both graveyards back on the battlefield. Augur of Autumn. Yeah, I also had this card in one of my decks. It was in the um, Celestia deck, also from Midnight Hunt. A great card, you can always look at the top of your library. And then if it's a land, you can also uh, yeah, put it on the battlefield. So we'll just send back no more lands. And at the end of our opponent's turn, we'll just cast play with fire yeah i think they will uh, yeah they will try it again augur of autumn i hopefully they don't have you may look at the top card of your library anytime yeah that's bad ah so okay they have they have a land so we will just deal damage to the opponent leer disciple of the drowned um, we can keep that, yes. I think we will. We have to keep that card. And then we can cast Arcane Infusion. We will select Consider and then we will also um, pay 2 mana. So we'll remove the 3 counters and deal 3 damage to the Augur of Autumn. And then we still have mana left. But with this card, we'll just uh, cast next turn. Or, you know, I mean in our opponent's turn then. But this move was very good. We can also spend all the mana very efficiently. So, yeah, play with fire, also Geist Flame Reservoir. Virtue of Persistence, a very cool design. So yeah, let's see what it is. Cemetery Prowler, Vigilance, they will exile. I believe they can also exile the Arcane Infusion, yes, right. Here is under. Oh no. Okay, they want to exile the, our artifact land. We'll just put it in the graveyard. More islands. Okay, here we have another arcane infusion. Maybe you should just cast Leer first. Yeah, we have a lot of very cheap spells. And one of these, I think, could be very good for us. When we will cast Fading Hope, we'll bring the, the dog back to the opponent's hand. And we'll receive also Arcane Infusion. But we'll just do that at the end then. Wow, a Troll Shaman, 5-5, five, five. can't be countered, Trample. And it has Indestructible as long as it's our opponent's turn. Let's just bring the Cemetery Prowler, since our opponent doesn't have any mana left. Yep, 
Yeah, we have everything under control. Yeah, it's great to have Lear also on the battlefield. Now we can transform the axe into the dragon. And we still have a lot of mana. So let's deal first two damage to the opponent. We'll draw another consider. Maybe this time we can also use Arcane Infusion. Oh yeah, the mana distribution right now is perfect. Perfectly balanced as it should be. <laughs> then we can also cast it. Actually, yeah, that's the great advantage of Lear. We can cast it also for the same co mana cost from the graveyard and I think that should be because yeah next turn we have we can use both play with fire oh a creature with lifelink so better we will not attack with the dragon instead of that we can also use just both copies of play with fire yeah, they have no mana left. Island. Yeah, we can also even copy that, so... Yeah, I believe... I mean, I can understand when opponents get really mad uh, about that deck, because it can be very annoying. As usual for, for those Izzet decks. But yeah, GG. Ah, amazing deck. I love it. So, what changes can we do here? Maybe Delve of Secrets, yeah, it's not very efficient here. So... But you can see we were never really in trouble. Everything went very smoothly. And yeah, from the beginning we had actually everything under control. So yeah, we'll just take it since the opponent starts. Island, Delver of Secrets. Okay, so yeah, the underdog decline, but at least we have the mountain. So also we can use Galvanic Iteration later maybe together with play with fire or let's see if they are going to attack but we can also receive free damage that's not a problem yeah, yeah they can they can cast this creature also from the graveyard by paying two life and also yeah, four mana. But of course, at the end, they have to sacrifice it. And yeah, after the deck, I was thinking because there is still one deck left that I really wanted to make it while um, yeah, the Lot of the Rings set um, was released. And that was the deck with um, Legolas, Aragorn and Gimli. I really wanted to put all of these into one deck. Um, and to create a green green and red stack yeah also with this one amazing enchantment then whenever you attack uh, you can scry two and and then you can also put one of these cards onto the battlefield in attack modus so yeah I was also considering to make one of these decks so and i think that's it i think um i made with all the color combinations well, at least one deck and now only the red and green one is left so yeah i'm also looking forward forward to create and just imagine you have all of them on the battlefield at the same time legolas argon gimlets yeah I'm really, I'm really looking forward for that. I think the most, 
powerful creature uh, among them is I think Legolas because as I remember it right you can also um, target Legolas and if you target this creature then it will also deal damage to uh, the opponent's creature so and also it's a f one for creature and I think it receives every time when you do this a uh, plus one plus one counter. So let's see if they are going to yeah counter it. But yeah, they don't have blue mana, so impossible. But they also have the green mana, so they can also use one of those sorcery instant spells that uh, it gives the creature hexproof or indestructible. I think yeah, it just only costs one mana. So let's see. Yeah, so that um, that's my plan. And yeah, what what uh, decks we can also create in the nearest future. Mm. Yeah, it's also time to create one of those Ixalan decks and maybe also one of the di dinosaurs decks. Dinosaurs, pirates, merfolk. We have plenty of options. So yeah, I think our opponent just had enough of this stack. It's it's crazy. I mean, it's happening. I think already the first time that the opponent leaves during the game, and I think maybe they are doing this on purpose. Otherwise, we can just quit the game and yeah. Or maybe they are just really, really annoyed by the stack. Okay, so yeah, we'll kill the underdog. Yeah, I mean, if you see what kind of combinations we can just do with this block deck, it's just amazing. Yeah, we just have cards from one certain set. And then... Yeah, so many st yeah, strategies dealing damage from from all sides. Geistrom Reservoir, for example. Lear, Disciple of the Drowned. Yeah, we can also cast all the cards from the graveyard again. We just need one more land, so it should be a, it should be an island. So then we can also cast first galvanic iteration and and then also arcane infusion so yeah i think our opponent just left um yeah you can also let me know in the comments below um what kind of decks do you want uh, or which set from which set i should try to make a block deck <coughs> so yeah gg uh, unfortunately our opponent just left and yeah rank up silver tier 3 soon will also reach gold rank so yeah that's the deck with yeah with the amazing dragon also with Lear so yeah we will also try to get to gold rank so stay with me then and thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye